Hi there, how you doing? Good morning, it's Phil Thatch and I'm here this morning at Harrison Bay State Park and I'm not here to do bird photography, I'm here to do macro photography. I have brought my new Canon RF 100mm f2.8 macro lens which has a 1.4 magnification and I'm going to hike around on a trail that I've never hiked on. Usually I drive around here in the car and try to do bird photography but today I'm all about the macros and I'm looking for bugs which I'm not very good at finding um, so I'll also probably also photograph some plant life or just anything that looks interesting from a macro point of view I'm carrying a Mikey MK320 flash very inexpensive flash and I have a really inexpensive diffuser to stick on the front of my lens and so I'm probably going to do some flash photos and some maybe I don't know maybe I'll do some without flash and because I suffer from FOMO or fear of missing out, I also have a telephoto lens I'm going to have in my backpack just in case I stumble across a really interesting bird that I just have to photograph. But uh, I already got started this morning. I was loading up my stuff and putting it in the car. And like I said, I'm not really that good at finding insects. Uh, that's a skill I need to develop and nurture. But there was a fly of some sort on the garage door. So, uh, and it's a little bit chilly this morning. It's um, it's kind of mid 50s Fahrenheit this morning. So I, I put my flash on and I put my diffuser on and I went up to the garage door and I made a photograph of this fly uh, just with the lens by itself. I know in a previous video, which I'll put a link to up here, I experimented with extension tubes and a Raynox DCR 250 magnifying lens. But this was just the 1.4 magnification lens by itself with the focus turned to maximum close. And I, I think, you know, I haven't looked at it on the computer yet, but I think this, this whatever kind of fly this is, photo turned out pretty good. So I'll show you that right now and I will get started working and hiking on this trail to see what I can find here. There is the garage door fly. I think this is actually called a March fly. I've kind of tried to use Google picture lookup to see what it is and closest I could tell is it's a March fly, but I was really happy with the way this photograph turned out. Well, I must say things are going pretty well so far. I'm, I'm, gosh, I'm probably 400 feet down this trail. Not far at all. I started off right at the trailhead. There was a red bud tree, so I went for the low hanging fruit and made some photographs of the tiny blooms on the red bud tree. And then I just kind of walked along for probably 375 of the 400 feet I am down this trail. And then I decided to go off the trail there's a fairly large tree right there. And when I went off the trail and saw that tree, I looked around it and found an ant on it, attempted to make a couple of shots. I don't know if I got a, a good one of that. And I've, I've made some, uh, some photos of young um, plant growth, kind of like this, that I don't know if those are gonna be any good or not. And then I came down to this tree over here, this one, or maybe, no, I think it was this one. This tree over here that almost has no bark on it. it. Whoa, almost fell. And as I was looking around the tree, I found two spiders. Uh, one of them, a really bright green colored spider that I made some photos of that I think I'm gonna be really happy with. And as I've kind of settled into my settings, I have my flash power at one quarter, 200, uh, at one two hundredth shutter speed and strangely I have my ISO at 400. Um, I could shoot at 100 and increase the flash power but the flash doesn't recirculate as fast and it wears the batteries out quicker so I decided to go 400 ISO which is absolutely no problem in terms of noise on the Canon R6 and uh, then I can go with a lower flash power. So let's look at those and this is fun. I'm going to keep working. Here is the red bud blooms. These are tiny flowers on the beautiful red bud tree indigenous to the eastern United States and they are a harbinger of spring for sure. And here is a fairly nice photograph of an ant on another one of those trees with almost no bark on it. These were pine trees and the bark was really smooth and it was easier to find bugs. This is a magnolia green jumping spider according to Heather and Google and it is the first jumping spider that I've ever made a photograph of. So I'm really happy to have made my first jumping spider photograph. I know I have lots of room for improvement, but it was still really awesome to get my first one today. 
I am continuing to walk along this trail and you know I, I haven't found any more spiders which is kind of what I'm really looking for but I have seen some other bugs and uh, I've been seeing snail shells all along and just recently I saw some snails that were out and ever so slowly moving along the tree that they were on and I've kind of you know just been walking down the trail and, and walking around trees like this beautiful mossy tree here uh, but I found I've had my best luck finding insects on the trees with virtually no bark. But uh, anyway, I wanted to look around this tree with this moss and I came over to it and down below it, I found these amazing little wildflowers. Let me see if I can get them in the frame. There it is right there. You can see how small it is because that's my fingertip in the frame. Beautiful little flower, tiny, and it has beautiful pink or maybe magenta streaks on its petals. And I made a number of photos of it, so hopefully one or two of them will turn out okay. This beautiful three-leaved plant is a toad trillium. And later on in the spring, this was early spring, kind of the end of March, later on in the spring it's supposed to bloom, so I will have to go back and have another look. This is some form of wasp, and it was very uh, lethargic. I was able to take a number of photographs of it and work my composition and this was my favorite one this bug is kind of i think it's another march fly like was at home on the garage door i think the one on the garage door was much prettier and had more color to it and look at this i took my flash off the camera for this one because the flash shots just isn't didn't look that good but this snail was super cool on this 8000 iso photograph and this is the flower that was at the base of that tree. And best I can tell, this is a Virginia spring beauty. And what a beauty it is. I was so happy to photograph it. Well, the trail has led me all the way down to the lake. So that's pretty cool. I like this rocky formation that's poking out into the lake. And you may be able to see the flashing lights at the top of the cooling towers of the Sequoia nuclear plant in the background. I don't know if you can see that in this shot or not. But what an interesting trail and all these times I've come to Harrison Bay State Park and it's the first time I've hiked it. So now I'm going to turn around and head back and try to find some more bugs. I think it's the photographer Mike Motes who calls macro photography tiny landscapes. And this little sprig of pine coming up off a branch with a very bokeh background reminds me of the most photographed tree in the world or so they call it on Vancouver Island where Adam Gibbs and photo tripper like to hang around and make photos. This little sprig reminds me of that tree somewhat. Well, I made my way all the way back down the trail and didn't really see much. Uh, I kind of walked in a hurry and didn't stop at as many trees on the way back. And I think part of that is because I knew I had warm coffee or almost hot coffee in the car. So now I'm sipping on some coffee. And when I did get back, there's been some Eastern Phoebes kind of hanging around under this uh, covered eating area and for just a minute I put my 100 to 500 and the 1.4 teleconverter on and attempted to make a couple of photographs of the Eastern Phoebe. So if any of those come out, we'll take a look at them now. Coffee. I made a few photographs of the Eastern Phoebe. It's such a beautiful little bird and I haven't photographed one in a while. So it was worth it to switch lenses and chase this little bird around for a little bit and make a couple of photographs even though this is supposed to be macro day, you can't get the bird photography out of me that fast. And now back with the macro lens and the little flash, here is an ant. This was on a rotted out log that was laying over on its side. And this could be another one of those Virginia spring flowers. It looks a little bit different than the other one in the video. And I like the other one a good bit better. Here's another ant. It looks like it's standing on the edge of a huge precipice, but that's only about a two inch drop below it. But the ant is pretty small, and here is one more ant looking off the side of a vine growing on a tree. Later in the day, I didn't find as many bugs, only ants. All right, thanks for joining me on this uh, macro photography adventure using the Canon R6 and the 100 millimeter RF macro lens with the 1.4 magnification. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a thumbs up is always very greatly appreciated. And as always, I'd look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye from Harrison Bay State Park in Hamilton County, Tennessee.